Good morning. Here are your headlines for today. New banknotes set for public release by mid-June. Government signs 35 million US dollar contract for single electronic ID system. While Rupununi extends its experience to a wider Caribbean adventure. Jamaica's Finance and Public Service Minister, Dr. Nigel Clark, says that the country's new series of banknotes will be released to the general public by mid-June. He noted that the $2,000 note will bear the images of late former Prime Minister Edgar Siaga and Michael Manley, while former Prime Minister Hugh Shearer and Donald Sangster will grace the upgraded $5,000 note. Founding fathers Norman Manley and Sir Alexander Busmate will be on the upgraded $1,000 bank note. National heroes Sam Sharp and Nanny of the Maroons will share the upgraded $500 note, while national heroes Paul Bogle and George William Gordon will grace the upgraded $50 note, and Jamaica's first national hero Marcus Garvey will appear on the upgraded $100 bank note. To read more on this article written by Misha Morgan, go to CaribbeanNewsWeekly.com. The government of Guyana recently signed a 35 million US dollar contract with German-based company Veritas Identity Solutions for a single electronic ID system and cards that will be issued to Guyanese. President Ifran Ali, as well as Prime Minister Brigadier, retired Mark Phillips, a senior minister within the office of the president, amongst other dignitaries, attended a virtual signing ceremony. The new electronic identification system, the president explained, would revolutionize how business is done in Guyana, and with its advanced security system, it will eliminate the need for certain documents. He also noted that the ID system would improve access citizen-centric government services and benefit the citizens, private sectors, and the government alike. The project is expected to be implemented within a 12-month period. To read more on this article, go to kiternewsonline.com. 28-year-old Adaya Fife took the decision to attend last month's Barbados AgroFest event with his Wild Rupununi hydrated sweet fruit condiments. Before departing for Barbados, Fife had shared his story with the Starbrook business providing details of the challenges that he had continually faced, which included finding startup capital and keeping up with the continual rising cost of manufacturing and marketing. He said that the Barbados visit afforded him the opportunity to better understand the regional market. I'm encouraged, he said. Fife noted that while he hopes to broaden the range of his product, his immediate priority is to ensure that his current wild Rupunini range becomes more marketable in Guyana and the rest of the Caribbean. To read more on this article, go to starbrooknews.com. It's Monday. Wishing you a great start to the week. This was your Carib Invest headline news to start your day.